Hello, David here, and the project for today is replacing a garage door emergency release kit. There's nothing wrong with the old emergency release kit, it's just that the owner lost the keys. So I had to buy a new kit, pretty cheaply made. This one is sold by Genie. I doubt they make it, it's probably subbed out somewhere else. And what you get is two keys and two screws and two bolts. A uh, new installation is pretty much the same as a replacement. The only difference is you're going to have to drill three holes. There's a three quarter inch diameter hole for the lock cylinder and then there's two holes for the screws. And if you have a garage door that has a side door, also known as a man door, you don't need something like this, but my daughter has a, has a garage in a row of garages and there's no side door. So in the event of a power failure, there's no way they're going to get their car out. So the way this works is, well, it kind of works like this. There's a shuttle on which the, uh, which rides on the rail and uh, the motor pulls the shuttle along that lifts the door up. So if you pull on this cord, it releases the arm of the door from the shuttle. It's also known as a trolley. And uh, this cable is attached to the release mechanism. So you have a rope so you can release it if the door is open. And if the door is closed and you can't get in, there's a cable that goes to the lock, which is this cable. I originally thought that I could just put the lock in and replace the and use the old cable, but I can't. This cable is swedged on and can't be removed. So I'm going to have to just remove the old one and then you just squeeze this little connector on and put it into place. So here's another picture. This is my old instructions of the garage door for my door from 1978 and uh, that shows a little close-up of what the trolley looks like. There's a pull cord. That's when you pull the cord it releases the lift arm from the trolley. That's all there is to that. This is how the lock works. Turn it. And you pull the whole thing out with the cable then you pull it till you get resistance and then you give it a, a soft yank and that releases the arm from the trolley. This kit from Genie comes with a page of detailed instructions about installation and use. And it's also very well illustrated. Shouldn't have any problems with installation, right? So here we have the existing release. As you notice, you have to mount it centrally on a new installation. If you're off to the side, you're not going to get that downward pressure that you need to release the lever from the shuttle. And also, it looks like all the garages here have them installed in the top section of the door. I guess that's important as well. Let's open the door and start taking stuff apart. And I'm on the inside of the door. Let's remove these nuts. And I'll push out the old lock. Oh, might have to use some gentle persuasion. Put that in there, put that in for keeps.
you're not going to believe the trouble I had getting this lock out. I had to take a chisel and bend this plate and break it off in pieces in order to free the lock. This screw was pretty much frozen in. I was holding the whole thing down and I broke the back end of it off. Fortunately I had the head of the screw on this end and pretty much had to screw it out. There we go. Let's check the fit, see if they have to drill any new holes. Yeah, the holes line up perfectly. I'm going to be okay. Crap, my camera shut off and I don't know at what point it shut off, but I did take the old cable off. I opened up this fitting here to get the new cable on and I closed it so that it would have released accidentally. Let's connect the door to the trolley. Okay, it's now connected. Trolley, trolley. Doesn't that remind you of the Judy Garland movie, Beat Me in St. Louis? That's probably before your time. It's a good movie if you could find it on DVD. Put the new screws in. I'm going to give me a problem too. Wash it on a nut and then a nine millimeter wrench. Let's test it. Now the instructions in the instruction manu manual said to never take the key out of the lock cylinder when the cylinder was removed from the base. So it works as planned. I want to thank you guys and gals for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO.